Praise the Lord. Amen. Stars, praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody in the house this afternoon, praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody who is already blessed, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's testimony time. Glory it's testimony time. Glory time. Who has a testimony this afternoon? Let me see your hand. You have a testimony. You have a testimony. I can see you. I can see you. Please keep your hands up until the ushers give you a paper. I want you to write down that testimony for me. You see, in our bulletins every month, we write down your testimony to bless someone who may be going through something similar. Those upstairs, just keep your hands up until an usher puts a paper in your hand. Write down your testimony, write down your name and your phone number in case we want to reach you. Ushers, please help me give them papers. I want them to write down their testimonies. And we should be able to take your testimonies next month. But for today, I want to call only four testifiers. Four testifiers today. Anne Mumbi, Sister Vivian, are you here? I can see you. Pastor Teresa and Sister Margaret. Where are you? Four of you will testify for me today. Please give them a round of applause. We have exactly 20 minutes. We have exactly 20 minutes for testimony. So, five minutes. Whose phone is the shortest? You start. You start. Give it to Sister Margaret so that exactly quarter past. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus again. Hallelujah. My name is Margaret Kamau. I started coming to QEG from an invitation from a friend. And um, over the years, my life has changed. Um, I keyed into the things that were pronounced. In 2014, Mommy pronounced that our year of establishment and he asked us to go and register our business, whatever it's going to be. And I went and registered an event company. I've been operating the business from a briefcase. And last week I dedicated uh, an office to the glory of God. Hallelujah. With a workforce of six people dealing with corporates. And currently we, have, we, are, we are looking after two big brands in Kenya. In the year 2015 was our year for exploits. Something terrible happened to me. I was carjacked with my two children, one aged four and the other one aged six. It was very horrific. And uh, I asked God, because before then God had spoken to me to sow a seed in a ministry. And I asked God, seriously, this is what you would uh, do for me? I was in pain. I was really thinking depressed, but I thank God for the woman of God. He gave me people who worked with me during that time. And to the glory of God, God told me I'm a Hebrew woman. I will go through stuff, but come out and scratch. And today I stand very confident. My children are confident because we went through a very horrific experience that I had to be hospitalized. And to the glory of God, I want to thank God that even in that pain, I was able to obey his voice and sow a seed. In 2016 was our year for moving from glory to glory. Sorry, movers and shakers. That is the year I first went to the Embassy of America, got my visa, and was able to network in New York and got investors. 20, 2017 was our year from moving from glory to glory. I was, somebody sold a house for us at um, a market price of 10 million, 10 million less the market price, to the glory of God Amen. in this country. That is in 2017. The same year, because it was moving from glory to glory, I got a new job. Amen. The same year, the same time when I got a new job, four months after the job, I received, the CEO said, I, I need an, you know, I introduced an innovation award and said, if somebody is going to come with an innovative idea, the first person will get a million bob. I was the second person, I got half a million bob. 
as if that was in, not enough, four months, two months after the job, I got a bundle of joy, my baby, newborn baby number three. So I have a... <laughs> Hallelujah. To the glory of God, I have a four-month-old baby. Amen. And you look awesome. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Vivian. Um, I'm born again. I started coming to RCCG in 2013. And uh, during the same time, uh, I was asked to start serving mommy in protocol and security because of my background. And uh, during the course of my uh, service uh, with Mama, I made it, I made a decision within myself that anywhere she goes, if I'm able to go, I will go. And so I would go to um, anywhere she was invited for a meeting, I would be there. If it is Mombasa, I will go there. If it is Kisumu, I will go there. We would travel overnight by bus. And after the meeting on Saturday, again, travel overnight by bus. And by Sunday at 8 o'clock, I was in the church. And I continued doing that for a very long time. And it became a norm for me. It was no longer, and I didn't struggle with it anymore. And we continued like that. Sometimes you'd be invited for radio ministry, TV programs at KBC. And most of them fell on a Sunday. And so we would leave church. Sometimes we have done Thanksgiving service. And we'd go um, to KBC for uh, after nine uh, family show. And uh, those days, I didn't have a car. So it means that after people have closed the service here, it means I will hang around until it is uh, 7 o'clock. Then I start making my way to town and go to KBC. And we would leave there very late. One time, I was reaching home at around 1 o'clock in the night. And mommy was very gracious enough for me. After the program, she would normally give me uh, money for taxi. And I was very grateful. And we continued doing that for a very long time. It was tedious for me. Because in my background then, the job I was doing, by 5 o'clock, it means that I was out um, of my house. And you can now put back, waking up, preparing, praying, and all those things. That time I would be waking up. It was strenuous. But I never gave back. But I continued serving. Um, one day, during the Queen Esther's generation at Nyayo Stadium, I was doing my normal job. Um, I was uh, doing protocol for her and all that. And when the meeting was finished, she asked me to protocol a certain guest that had come, her friend. And uh, she's not a Kenyan, so she was not very familiar with the terrain. And she needed me to take her to the taxi that brought her, to take her back home. So as we were going, when mommy introduced this particular friend of hers, she said that she worked with a certain NGO. And before then, Again, mommy had given, a, given me a platform here in chat with another um, colleague of ours here who also had a similar background. And we did a presentation. And from that presentation, as we were talking uh, with daddy, he said, by the way, you people can register a company. And we registered a company. So while I was taking this guest, I knew her background. And I know what, how my job then could um, complement what they're doing. So as we are going, I said, I had uh, mommy said you work in a certain organization. Can I do this particular training for your staff? She said, well, we do those kinds of training, but I'm not sure if we are doing a training this time. So she said she will call me back. She went to the office on Monday. She called me back. She said that that particular training, they have a certain department that is um, mandated to do that particular training. So I was not able to do for them that training. I said, it's OK. Um, then on Tuesday, the following day, she called me again. And she said, by the way, uh, we have a certain vacancy in our organization, and it fits very well with your profession. Are you interested? That particular time, I was so frustrated with my job. I, I thought of resigning at that time. And uh, she said, are you interested? I said, yes, immediately. So she said, send me your CV. It was the first time in my life I was uh, preparing a CV. In my, in my job, I just entered from Form 4. I entered and started doing that job. So CV was none of my business. But when she asked for the CV, I quickly did a CV, all the trainings that I've done and everything, and I sent it to her. And uh, the following week, they invited me for an interview. I went for the interview, and by God's grace, I did well. But that was not the end of it. They started asking for referees. And I gave, of course, referees from my, um, uh, from my colleagues. And then I gave mommy as my referee. 
And when that, uh, all those reports were sent, mommy's reference was the heaviest. If you, if you read how she recommended me, in fact, she said, if this lady can serve me like this, and I'm not paying her one cent, if you people give her money, <laughs> she will die for your organization. <laughs> and you have one minute. And, and that is how I got the job. And that job is very good. My salary is three times what I used to earn. Amen. They gave me a car. They serviced the car. They fueled the car. And it is, it is not your normal number plate. Eh? Yes. 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 It is a red plate. Red and you know plates. the benefit that come with the red plates. Yes. Sometimes when the police do like this and they see the plate, they say, oh, Madam, you can go. So I enjoy a lot of favor on the road. In the same year, I got married. Amen. I had a wedding here in church. Amen. And one year down the line, we are blessed with a bouncing baby boy. Yeah. He is now six months. Amen. And I give God all the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Teresa, praise go. the Lord. Our God is a God of more than enough. Amen. Amen. I don't know where to start my story from because start for five minutes. <laughs> From the time I came into contact with the grace upon our mom and our dad, way back in 2001, my life has taken a tremendous change, a, a direction. Actually, uh, mommy keeps preaching with me, saying the first day she met me, I was in an oversized t-shirt, looking ragged, battered. You see the category of women that she talks about, God showed her in the vision. I was number one in that list. <laughs> <laughs> and... By and by, I, 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 by God's grace, I got an opportunity to be working with her, serving her in various areas. Sometimes, at times, I was a volunteer PA for many years, and I really thank God for those opportunities, and I thank God for the opportunity that, that, that I still have to serve in this ministry and serve under her and daddy. Mommy and daddy, God bless you. Amen. I appreciate. Um, I did have an education, first of all. I just had my form for, and I, I remember when I used to serve mom and go to her house, one prayer point every night we were going to sleep, she would ask me, Jerry, what's your prayer point? And I would say, my prayer point is to go back to school, because I did not qualify to make it to the university, and uh, I fell short with very few marks. By then it was a B plus, I didn't qualify, but I really desired to go to the universities, um, and private universities were too expensive for us. But by, by mommy's prayer and service and all that, along the line, nine years later, I managed to go and do my diploma, and I started selling chinchin. You saw the testimony many years back when I was selling chinchin and going to school. But today, as I stand here, I don't only have a, a diploma, I have a first degree, I have a master's degree, and I'm doing my doctorate. To Hallelujah! My second testimony is that I've shared this before, but I still feel the urge to share with you because it aligns with the theme for today. That if you key in into the, what the word of God, the prophecy that comes from this altar, and you run with it, you believe in it, God will make sure that it comes to pass in your life. I remember uh, when daddy pronounced here in 2016 that it would be our year of shining. I ran with that word. Last year I happened to travel to our head office in Europe uh, uh, where I work, and I gathered that people are awarded uh, global uh, best person of the year in various categories. And I told myself, if these people can get these categories, it's just because I was me, I didn't understand what was going on. Now, this coming year, 2018, I will stand on this platform by God's grace because according to this prophecy, I will, it's my time to shine globally. And to God be all the glory, in 2016, uh, we did, uh, 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 there was an award that was given to the best person in sales, we call it Elevator Pitch, in Africa. And guess who that was? The daughter of Zion, the queen and the star. Amen. Uh, in 2017, uh, we had our Africa annual meeting here in Nairobi, and the salesperson for the year in Africa was this queen and star, to God be all the glory. And now, this year, I traveled again, by God's grace, to our head office. And I remember when they were calling out names, 
uh, the chief head of our department from US came to me and told me, you know what, get ready. And I said, okay, I started putting dots together and I knew that something was coming. And to God be all the glory, the smallest of that uh, uh, award you are seeing was the Global Salesperson of the Year 2017. <laughs> to God be all the glory. Hallelujah. I was also enrolled in a very prestigious club in our organization called Constructive and Positive People. People who have positive energy, positive influence over others. It's very prestigious. It's headed by our CEO and I was awarded a commendation and a, a, a member of that uh, uh, club. To God be all the glory. Amen. To talk to, to, to talk Top it up, God was not yet done with me. This year, Mommy said here in January, giving us 10 points on how to actually inherit, uh, uh, get our inheritance. I remember when she said this is our year of inheritance, I told myself, by God's grace, if one of the inheritances that God gave the children of Israel was land, and I had no land on my title at, at all, not even a quarter or a, a soil like this, I can carry and say it's my Time. own. But to God be all the glory, God helped me this year to buy two acres of land in Kitale. Hallelujah. And that, that is, as if that was not enough, I told God in February when I was leading prayers here that God, I don't want this year to end when I am a tenant. And before the end of February, God opened my eyes to see somewhere. And by March, God helped me to pay for a house. Now I'm no longer a tenant. I live in my own house. To God be all the glory. Amen. As I conclude, if you key into this theme, for such a time as this, because I remember I keyed into this theme in January, and when mommy launched that book, Give Us Our Inheritance, we walked in Karen, in the, uh, uh, we walked in Karen and I claimed that prophecy, and God has brought it to pass in my life. God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, say <stay> quick. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord again. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to thank God because when I joined uh, this ministry, number one, I was a supporter and very jobless. I want to thank God because my life has taken a 360 degrees turnaround. <laughs> number one, I thank God for establishing me in business. Amen. Uh, I'm in the mining space, which you all know is a male-dominated sector. And with all the challenges, I thank God by his grace, I've been able to overcome all of them. Amen. As well as in the energy sector, I give God all the glory. Amen. And I want to thank God also because the mining uh, company that I registered, today we are celebrating the second anniversary. Amen. I give God all the glory. They say that uh, most SMEs die during their second year. I want to thank God ours has not died. Mm -hmm. It's moving on. Amen. And I also want to thank God. It's not just about the profits that we make. I want to thank God for making me a solution provider Amen. by giving employment to over 30 people. Amen. Uh, which translates to 30 families. Uh, one month ago, I was here and I gave a testimony of how we went to, I, I was part of the people that went to Virginia to launch a QEG a chapter in Virginia. And I said that immediately I landed in America the first time. I was waiting to land and pick the soil and speak to the soil so that it can vomit what belongs to me. And I gave a testimony and I said that God... I, I kept saying I sowed a seed of mission because we paid the ticket ourselves and everything. And I told God whatever belong, whatever is mine in that nation has to be vomited. And I said that uh, God gave me a fully uh, sponsored scholarship for one year uh, that is fully paid. Everything is fully paid. Amen. I thank God because I traveled. I just came back this week and uh, I finished the first phase of that program. Amen. But there are things that I discovered which I think they are key, I share with you, that when God decides to bless you, he gives you the best. Amen. Number one, I want to thank God because during that training, I was able to access information of businesses that are thriving in America like Starbucks, what people like Warren Buffet do 
to get to where they are. I want to thank God because our trainers were from Harvard or, gradu or graduates from Harvard Business School. I give God all the glory. I want to thank God because of the networks I was able to establish. Their equipment and infrastructure I've been believing God for, for my mining uh, company so that my business can flow seamless. I want to thank God I got networks from South Africa and I will be able to get those equipment very easily. I give God all the glory. I give God all the honor. And I want to thank... Please let me finish this one. And I want to thank God also because one of the things I discovered is that that school has been rated in America and in the whole world for the past 26 years as number one in entrepreneurship training. Amen. I give God all the glory. I give God all the honor. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus as we jump to our feet to honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for his awesome miracles in the life of his church his children if you desire testimonies like this this is your time to tap in remember those who touched pastor Teresa's cup and what their testimonies were this is your time this is your time honor God by saying thank you for what he has done in the life of his children and tell him papa you are not a respecter of persons you can see me where I am I tap into this from grass to grace you are the only one who does grass to grace. I come to you, Lord God, today telling you, it's my season from grass to grace. It is my season of edification. It is my season of upliftment. I tap into these testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Continue to bless his holy name in Jesus' name. Almighty and everlasting God, we just want to thank you for your daughters that you have put on comments of glory we give you all the praise we give you all the honor we seal up these testimonies with the blood of jesus we decree over their lives that they haven't seen anything yet the lord who has lifted them will establish them he will honor them he will take them from one level of glory to another we return all the praise and all the adoration to you lord and we pray lord god the enemy will not vandalize these testimonies Thank you, merciful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.